So to start off, the pool wasn't even operational. It was uh, completely emptied. When the COVID-19 hit, everybody got extended. So the people that were here from the uh, previous, there was no pool. Uh, as far back as 2017, this pool had been out of service. Some uh, substantial amount of flooding occurred, and it damaged uh, the pumps and control mechanisms for the pool. The figure I got was about $1.5 million to completely redo this. Before we filled the pool up, we actually had to clean it out because there's a bunch of dirt and stuff in there. So we spent probably a good about two weeks cleaning the whole pool out, getting the dirt and stuff out. Then we started the filling process. It took us about a week to fill it up. So the next thing we had to do was uh, get a pump. So the pump we used is actually a pump we use for uh, a water distro. It's actually the 550. And uh, we tested that pump out. It worked. You know, aside from man hours and, and some materials, we, we spent zero dollars. It wasn't just us out here. It actually was a heavy, actually helped us with the pump, moving the pump into place. We had electrical come out here, get the pool lights to work. We had structures come out here and help us put the tile up, put the uh, pump house up for us, and uh, the dirt boys. This increased the morale by, I say, like maybe a thousand percent. I'm not even exaggerating because when we first started to get in the pool and operational and we were cleaning it and we were filling it, you see people poking their heads over the fences, see the Marines, oh, is the pool up yet? Is the pool yet? And everybody just loves the pool and enjoy it. Every time they come, they're like so thankful. 